Hello again and welcome to week 11 of the small weekly worm bin update. So great excitement this week because we're going to be splitting the population of the bin and in previous weeks we got everything ready. We have the new worm bin that some of these worms will be going into sitting there um, for about two weeks or so. So there should be a nice colony of bacteria and fungi and whatever else ready for these worms when they move in. Now you're watching this on Saturday because this is the first opportunity I've had to get the video edited and uploaded but in fact I recorded this on Wednesday of this week. Now um, I use the horizontal migration technique which just involves feeding one side of the bin so that you encourage all the worms to move to that one side where all the food is and as you can see there isn't many worms in the left and center of the bin so let's have a look and see if they have mostly moved to the right hand side and as you can see they have now the food that you can see there, that's food that I added last Monday or Tuesday because the worms did such a good job. So many of them moved over and they did such a good job at um, demolishing all the food that, that was already added. I was quite concerned they were really going to leave the bin or they were going to move back into the centre of the bin defeating the, the purpose of feeding one side. So I added another little bit of food. Monday and Tuesday just to keep them happy on the right hand side of the bin so that's the unfinished food that you're seeing there but as you can see the vast majority of the worms have now in fact moved over to the right hand side of the bin and this makes it incredibly easy to either harvest the worms from the bin or harvest the vermicompost from the bin and in our case what we want to do is harvest the worms I've taken what worms I think is reasonable out of this bin now. I haven't weighed them or anything, but it's, it looks like and it feels like about roughly half the population of the bin. So, and all I'm doing now is adding uh, roughly a kilo of food to the top. So I'm going back to spreading the food across the top of the bin, which is how I like to feed the bin. So this is the worms in their new home. I've speeded this uh, video up a little bit because uh, what I've done is I put uh, the, a light over the bin and that's to encourage the worms to move down into their new home and to settle as quickly as possible and for the next day or two which was Wednesday and Thursday I kept the light over the bin and that was to dissuade any of them from leaving or wandering around. I've sped it up a bit more now. But this is a bit where I shouldn't say it music or sing a song but um, my editing skills aren't up to that just yet. And I can't sing. So you're very lucky I'm not singing. So that's them gone underground now in their new home. Hopefully they'll settle and be happy there. So there's only one thing left to do really and that's to break open a bottle of champagne or in this case a pretty rotten banana
that's it I hope you enjoyed this video update I'll um, do an update in a couple of days time which will bring us into week 12 and we'll see how both bins are getting on thanks for watching